Now I've got it at the proper temperature to forge. And we'll finish the dubbing off at the end. Now you can see it's, it's got the same profile, however it goes from thick to thin to the point. That's the start of the blade. Every blade is made in the same manner. And I'm going to come back using a pair of calipers, the primary tool for measuring, a blacksmith would use. I'm going to come back about that far, just a little bit more turn in the blade would be real nice with the grip. brush that finished grip. And there you have the final rough forging of a leather sky. Jim will be getting a better picture of this at a later point in his video so you'll be able to see the characteristics of the thinness and the outside profiles. And you can see the thick to thin, thick to thin and that will help us balance the blade in the future when the handle material is actually placed on the grip of the blade. Um, we're going to continue on knife making, the third video. And I have the knife, the blank, that was created at Beaver Creek in the fire. And we're heating it with uh, Coke this morning. Uh, I brought some Met Coke, which was purchased in New York. And uh, we're I'm going to uh, do two things this morning to this blank. I've got the end heated up. There's two punch marks in the blank on the, on the tail end. And that is uh, this area right here. You can see the two holes that have been punched in and, and a slot cut. I'm going to do that to this blank so that you can see that part of the process. I've used a center punch, a square center punch to, to uh, mark those holes and we're going to punch those using a uh, regular punch.